a boy on screen ready to support him. This should be fun. That's gonna be fun though, that's gonna be super fun. I mean, as we, as we mentioned just earlier, I'm really looking forward to see what's gonna happen in the game, but uh, well, 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 we're already back into it. So yeah, definitely looking forward to see what can potentially happen between those two foxes. Raul already lost against uh, Ice, one of the other OG fox, but we're talking about fuzziness, so definitely looking yeah. forward to see if he can do it. You know, and... Again, I actually have no idea with Fuzzy. He's so good, but it just feels like there's this there's this level where I'm like, I don't expect Fuzzy to beat Pipsqueak, Ice, and Triff. But aside from them, and obviously above them with the lessons and whatnot, I'm like, I actually have no idea where you should be. I, I don't know if beating Raul would be like this amazing achievement for you, or if that's just another day. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, actually. I don't know exactly when did Fuzziness enter tournament because I knew he, I think he did some same circuit, but not that much. B but uh, but yeah, that aside, he's definitely got a lot of experience that Raul may not have. So definitely looking through it once again to see what's gonna happen, yeah. especially in that kind of volatile matchup. Fuzzito, like if the, if an upset can happen, that's gonna be on, in a Fuzzito matchup. For sure, for sure. I think as well, like, an interesting thing is that a lot of the players, like, when they've got an upcoming opponent, they'll do a lot of studying about, like, uh, how they play, and if you're this far in bracket, there's gonna be a lot of recent footage of those people playing, which isn't true for Fuzzy. Like, you've got a lot of old footage, archive footage of how he plays, but that's all out of date. No. As you mentioned. But, yeah. Hmm. I do feel though, like Fuzziness was pretty known in France, so maybe he just like you know hit up some of uh, of the OG from France also to know what he can do against it. Like he, but uh, it's not tough to say. In any case, we'll see. Right now, Fuzziness just like making the work, you know, simple, uh, simple clear plan. We just like hit the fox, pushing on stage, and then try to make the edge guard. Simple as that. Can yeah. he do it? He do it perfectly. He's doing I it. I think as well, like, I don't think, like, Fuzzy and Mint feel pretty similar in, in their approach. In, in the sense that Fuzzy as well isn't the kind of player who, like, wants to completely overwhelm you and add loads and loads of aggression. I think he's willing to, like, kind of hang back and just kind of go for his more consistent combos that he's, or reliable combos. Mm. Kind of makes sense. Okay, back at Soul Spot. Maybe looking for something. Looking for that up smash onto the tech chase. Like uh, the landing, taking the edge, and won't be enough to kill Fuzziness, but he did it himself! He did it himself. Ooh. Oh! That way in shield. See, as, as well, like, he's so willing to play that defensive game. He's willing to just hang back and throw out some back ends. Yeah. Okay, I no. can't think of another player that would do that. Almost all of them would have been dash dancing in that situation. But Fuzzy just had his back. Had it had it back to him. Uh, the thing is like like yeah, Fuzzy's definitely taking his time as you as you mentioned. Like, oh that's so sad. Fortunate. The thing though, I know that Fuzziness can be emotional in some some kind of moment. I remember him tilting a bit. Uh, depending on the action that can happen on on, on on screen. So with a missed ledge dash and then another SD, yeah. uh, I don't know how, if he can handle the pressure that Raul is putting on him yeah. after that. Oh, good reaction. Good call. Okay. Good back here. Yeah. Good though. Oh, okay. oh he just Great. missed the angle to the ledge. Fuzzy was able to click him with a back air. But, but I completely agree with you that Fuzzy is known to have those, like, moments of frustration. Although I do think that he often kind of pushes through gameplay-wise. Like, like if you watch him on stream playing, there's a chance that he would have reacted like, oh, come on. But I don't know if that dips his gameplay, which I think yeah. was, was accurate there. He just kind of held it together. Yeah, definitely. For that game, for sure, it, it did not uh, impact him, but I do feel if he had lost that game, that might have been huge yeah. for the long yeah. run, you know? Like, knowing that you should have won that first game, but you SD twice in a row, it, it can be hurt, hurtful. 
But in any case, we're now on Dreamland, which is quite surprising to be fair, as we've seen uh, Fuzziness using a lot of the of the of, of the space that he have, where Raoul was more so a ground-based park. So I'm, I'm really surprised to see Raoul picking up Dreamland, but we'll see if he can, I mean, pull something from it. And actually, yeah. he does. Okay. Oh. Honestly, doing that kind of pressure on the platform without dropping, like yeah. you know, from the platform, because you're putting down B, it's so hard. It's so hard. I have such respect for Raul. Mm. That was really good. Also, like punishing the arms attack afterwards as well. Yeah. Nice. Okay, great pull by Fuzzness. Trying to smash the eye, but unfortunately, nope. That is box too big, son. Okay, Raul is trying to calm down his gameplay. By the way, like compared to what he was doing on on uh, on uh, on Battlefield, he's definitely using Dreamland as, as it uh, with his own advantage. Like uh, a bit of mimicking the the gameplay of uh, of Fuzziness, you know, making some wall of back air, waiting a yeah. bit, using his shield a bit more, uh, trying to yeah. use his platform. It's like he's he's. he's... He's noticed that Fuzzy does well in those defensive situations, and he's like, he's trying to mix it up by forcing Fuzzy to approach more. Yeah, true. Yeah, it makes definitely sense. I agree. Mm. Yeah. He did what Ice did to him! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, but Raul get caught so many times by that specific role against Ice. So, <laughs> seeing him, watching him just doing it afterwards, it made me laugh. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> You love seeing the players learn. Exactly. Okay. Maybe it'll make the difference. Maybe maybe losing to Ice is what he needed to beat Fuzzy. Actually, might be, yeah. Okay, nice. Good call. Good call. really strong now. I mean, it's definitely not, not like the first game. Like, it's not the same fuck who, who, who is playing. I want to yeah. play again in, in, in Raul. I'm pretty sure it's not the same player that picked his controller. That's not the same Fox. <laughs> I didn't believe it. I can't take it over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, good grab. Up there. Back yeah. in now. Yeah, this is completely different. This is... Fuzziness is on the ropes. It really does feel like there's been a big shift in how uh, Raul has been approaching Fuzzy. He's been very much expecting these back hairs in place. And I saw him approach with some um with some shines. Uh like run like running and then jump cancel shines. Which is really, really good. Uh, especially in that position. Um, yeah, because if, if Fuzzy's just gonna sort of have his back to him and shoot out the back hairs, being able to run through shine beats out most of the options. And if you do get hit by the back air, you're crouch cancelling. So mm. Strong option. Completely, I'm completely amazed, honestly, by the by how Raul just adapts in between those two games. Like mm. it, it was just insane. And look at that now—it's fuzziness bringing him, in, bringing him to uh, Yoshi's story this time. Yep. So fuzziness, which who was playing defensive of the first game, now wants the close uh, quarter kind of fight because like he's tired of getting walled by Raul. So. It's really impressive to see how he adapt for sure. But we'll yeah. see how that's gonna evolve now. Yeah, and in a way, like, I think the close quarters games kind of does benefit the way that Fuzzy's just playing. Like, if he's bringing these, if he's trying to wall you in, it makes sense to make the stage smaller so it's easier for Fuzziness to be in that position. What a mash to get out of the grab! What a mash, honestly! Fuzzy? My god! Nice. Okay, yeah, good call. Good call there. Yeah. Fuzz is with the lead again. Okay. Oh, <laughs> not oh, this shy time. Guy <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, got the call out. Okay. But as you mentioned, already making the wall, you know. But finally, Fuzzin has taken back the center and Fort went back to the edge, allowing Raul to apply once again that same pressure that he was doing before. Nice drift, avoiding the up air this time, but falling down to the shield, get grabbed. Nothing much, though. Unfortunately, Fuzzin cannot stop Raul. He cannot, uh, yeah, lock him up, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it looked like 
like I noticed there was like three tournament winners in a row. And I, it looked like I may have been getting a bit frustrated with those tournament winners and not exactly paying enough attention to what Raul was doing and just getting caught up on those uh, errors. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, good call by Fuzzness. The wait! Oh, they're both rolling from the edge. That's... Oh, no. Who's going to get the other roll? Who's going to get it? It's... Oh, oh no. This is Raul's chance to pull ahead. I think I don't think Fuzzy's playing. He's playing quite recklessly. He's been making quite a few technical errors. Nah. But sometimes this is all you. Sometimes just taking the stock is all you need to stop the bleeding and to kind of reset your head. Okay, interesting choice. The side B. Okay, Fuzzy's trapped again. Reading that. Oh, good call. Low percent. Going for the up air to juggle Ooh. your open instead of, of uh, throwing him off stage. This time, though, bad GI on the back air will be enough for yeah. Raul to take the kill with another one afterwards. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see if Fuzzy could like, cause he had the lead. He started with the lead. Ooh. Oh, Fuzzy. I think I, I think that was a fine call out. There's been a lot of times that Raul's going to ledge in those situations, so I'm on, yeah. not not displeased with the decision. <laughs> yeah, I understand. But the thing is, like, it's just like you know, once again, like he cannot trap Raul. And look at that! He just like all of the space. He like yeah. he dashed back to the center of the stage, allowing Raul to just like straight up dash into the center. And look at all the punish that Fosnis is taking because he let Raul uh, work forward. Where is waiting? Unfortunately, like I can understand the fact that he's waiting for Raul to attack and then make a whiff punish or something yep. because Raul is quite offensive during those kind of moments. But ah, uh, ah, uh, yes, he's just been running in that space. As you say, he's just been taking that space. Fuzzy's been taking the space, trying to call out some approach and whiff punish, but Raul hasn't been buying. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, the roll once again! He didn't that learn! He did not learn! Ooh! It's getting neck and neck. This is in the corner. Nice. Ooh. That was that was a tough packet to find, but he did find it. Yeah. Okay, okay. So Raul take the second game, but um That was a close game again. Like this this game was close for sure. Yep. It was. It felt like one of the difference makers was how how fuzzy was on the edge compared to how Raul was on the edge. Like Raul was doing a really good job with his ledge dashes. He wasn't torment winning a lot like fuzziness was with actually returning to stage as well. His recoveries were really, really solid. Um, whereas fuzziness got called out a bit more, at least on that game. Yeah. Uh, back to Yoshi's again. Yep, yeah, I feel like Raul definitely hit the confidence onto fuzziness. Because, like, once again, like, Fuzzness letting all of the stage, like... Like, he was such a high percent, you know, so we'll see. But right now, Fuzzness is trying to play as much as... Not really defensive, actually, just in the weight, as you mentioned earlier. Like, you know, just jumping onto the platform. If you want to catch me, just come and jump. Uh, he's going to play the play the long game if he needs to. There's no yeah. problem for that. What a smash GI, though, from on the up air. Okay. But, yeah, we'll see how we lose patience. And I do think... Poisonous is really good at forcing his open to those patients. Mm. Okay. <gasps> no! Ah. Oh, sad. Ah. That's so sad. That's so sad. Oh, okay. 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 Attention, I mean, homie stock, but delayed. <laughs> Let's say that. I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure anymore. Okay, great okay. pressure. But Fuzzy, does, like, he doesn't look out. After these mistakes, it could it could look like he was crumbling, but he seems to be holding it together. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. The thing is, like, there's such a difference in uh, in punish game. I feel also. Ah, uh, once again, that roll getting catched yep. by another up smash. But yeah, I feel like in, in, in terms of punish game, like Fuzzness finding some, you know, some good uh, good strings of, uh, of hits. But I do feel like Raul is definitely building more percent when he can. So on the fact that Fuzzness is getting a, a good advantage, like it's because he's winning a m more and more neutral situation right now. Great. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, Raul in the way this time. Oh. Finally, we punish and get the kill. Okay. I felt like at the start of the game, on game one, like Fuzzy's tech chasing was really strong. And I feel like now he's kind of resorted to more of those like reads that we were saying with the roll reads in. It feels like he's been going for that a little bit more. Which I'd kind of like to see the, the returns of the tech chasing. I was trying to, to catch some of the movement from uh, from fuzziness. Fuzziness, by the way, which is showing us right now that Super Smash Brothers Melee is a platform fighter beforehand. It's like he's using all of the platform, jumping from one to another every single time. Is remembering us, like, first and foremost, there is platform. That's what it is. It's a platform fighter. Exactly. You, and, there's, and he picked Yoshi, so the platforms are closer, so he can take advantage of the move. Okay, good call. Good call. But in any case, it was definitely for Fuzzness to do that. Like, using the top platform as he did. Like, I love how he just, you know, gained time on the side platform by jumping, jumping, right. jumping. And suddenly jumping on the top platform to the other side platform to find a gap onto the, the, the defense of, uh, of Raoul. And we're just, like, playing super nicely with the platform. And Raoul, as we mentioned earlier, actually, he's way more of a ground fox. Like, he stay on the edge, you know, like, uh, on the stage. He has to. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And obviously, to counterattack the fact that uh, your opponent is using a top platform, where do you go? Pokemon Stadium. Just remove the top platform. <laughs> exactly. And it's walking out so far. Ah. Fortunate. I've seen know. quite a few of them as well. Yeah. You don't want to see that in game 5. You don't want to. You don't want to. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice snare. Nice down tilt. Okay, Ooh, nice shield. Nice shield. Oh, grab yep. back again. Nice. And the roll! Mais, Raoul! Raoul! I'm, I'm, I'm starting to get mad about that roll. I'm starting to get mad. Oh. He did it once, he did it. Ten times back. Okay. Oh, he's waiting for that oh. roll again! I did really like that ledge pressure actually by Fuzzy. Yeah, very true. Oh, hopping over the, the down tilt. Oh, and the moonwalk! Okay, the thing is like, actually Fuzziness is like, is doing like Raul did on the second game. Like, it's not the same Fuzziness right now. He's, he's not the same. Like, he's, he's playing with the platform, he's, make, he's way more aggressive into, with, the, with his yeah. defense. Like, all of the back are way more deep on uh, this open. Raul! Why is that roll? Ah! Oh, Raul. Wow. So bad. But, okay, but, but yeah, but yeah, that aside, that aside, like, Fuzzness definitely putting way more pressure into his defense, which is quite impressive. Oh! Oh, oh that was almost. Okay, well, it's still going. Oh, I love these runoff nairs. The runoff double jump there. Okay, another back here. <gasps> nice drift! Okay. If you roll. Okay, cool. Uh, it didn't need to. It did need to. <laughs> So three stocks to one. I mean, Fuzz is definitely okay. Two stocks to one. Fuzz is definitely putting an amazing work onto yep. that game, as we mentioned. Like Raúl has been trapped into the corner from time to time. Is not able to come back to the center. Yeah, like the 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 really good like short hop back as we were seeing from Fuzzy and that walling works especially well when Raúl's in the corner. Exactly. This and on the be... other side, Fuzzy is finding a way to come back to the center pretty easily. Uh, against Howl already trapped. Nice jump. Hello. Oh, oh nice smash. I actually really like how Fuzzy just shields. I think so many players don't, and he just finds the perfect time to shield, and he knows when people want to come in and punish that shield. 
Yeah. I mean, oh, that switch of rhythm that Dash Attack, I loved it. Like, Fuzzness just completely switches play style from time to time, suddenly being yeah. defensive, not allowing Raul to find an enemy opening, as you mentioned, with the shield, forcing him to make huge mistake, starting to annoy him to finally finding those good and strong opening, going into the offensive as soon as Raul hit the 80% mark. And that was it. Fuzziness, boom, going on to lose his quarter. Wow. That was really well played. There were so many times that it felt like Fuzzy just kind of dropped the ball. But then just towards the end, he started picking things back up. The tech chasing came back, like reliably to finish his combos. He was getting really nice tech chases to lead into his up airs. Really well played. Super close set as well. It was. It actually was. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to see how Fuzzy is going to handle Jared in now. That's the thing. Yes. That would be very interesting.